today we're going to take a look at how to get a DSLR monitor for your camera for basically almost nothing. And we're going to hop on that right now. Hey, how's it going guys? Andre here from Cyberpunk Tech. Welcome back to another Free Tech Friday episode. In this episode, we're actually going to talk about how you can get a DSLR monitor on your camera for free. If this is something that you really enjoy and you think this content's pretty cool, definitely consider subscribing as there will be more cool tips and tricks exactly like this one coming up uh, on the channel further down the road. Now, camera monitors are very, very expensive. I haven't found anything below $100, which really, really sucks. But I did some research and I, do, I did find a way of how we can do this for much much cheaper almost free almost free i'm going to tell you right now and i'm going to tell you why i am recording on my galaxy s7 my galaxy s7 came with an on-the-go adapter an otg adapter so this is how this works you get your camera you have your on-the-go adapter and you plug it into your phone i'm going to do that right now then you get a usb cable that corresponds with your camera. Mine is USB micro. So I'm gonna plug that in here. There. And then I'm gonna plug this into my phone. Now this is where the magic happens. Okay guys, so I'm hoping uh, my screen recorder actually records my audio as well. Um, we're gonna open up, we're gonna connect our camera and then we're gonna open up DSLR dashboard. It is going to connect by itself, hopefully. There we go, I hit live view, and now you guys can actually see what's in front of my camera. I'm just gonna make sure this is still recording. By the looks of it, it is. And there you guys have it. This little app can really make wonders. You can use this as a viewfinder, and the reason why, check this out, some camera inception right here. You guys can see yourself. I got everything going on right here. My camera's got my point of view, and I'm not recording with the camera right now, which is very nice. And this really does help you if your camera does not have a flip out screen, or for example, if you just wanna place it somewhere to the left of you as a monitor, just so you can, like while you're recording your video, you can see exactly what's going on. If you're looking at the camera, if you're smiling, it can really help a lot. And this app does exactly just that. Now. Originally, I did download the APK file. I suggest if you really need that, you can do it, but definitely give some support to the to the creators. So there you guys have it. That is one way that you can easily uh, mirror or duplicate the screen from your camera. If you don't have a flip out screen or a camera just does not support a monitor like mine does. And also monitors are very expensive. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what I did well, what I can improve on. Also, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. There will be lots more cool tips just like this one. And yeah, I think that's it for me uh, this time around. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.